Chris and Jones are going to show how to rig the SL top loudspeakers. To use the SL aiming plate, a total of three hoist connector chains are required. The load beam is attached to the aiming plate and the front pick. Watch out for correct orientation. Slide the load beam onto the frame and lock it. In this case, we attach it in standard orientation. Lift the whole package slightly. As a next step, prepare the compression set containing the compression frame, all the compression chain parts and the lever hoist. First, attach the compression chain to the respective hole on the load beam. Next, attach the grab link. The optimum position for the grab link can be determined in array calc. When compression mode is enabled, a separate tab shows the optimum grab link position relative to the straight array during setup. When the grab link is ready, Connect the chain of the lever hoist to the grab link. To detach the SL touring card, release the splay link of the lowest cabinet and flip it up. Then remove the two front links. SL supports two rigging modes, tension mode and compression mode. The rear rigging strand holes for compression mode are labelled in blue. The upper two holes labelled C connect the cabinets to each other or to the frame. The holes on the bottom determine the splay between cabinets from 0 to 7 degrees. Insert one angle pin per cabinet according to the list of splay angles generated in array calc. In this case it's 1 2, 3, and 4 degrees. Lift the array to make room for the next touring cart below. Extend the front links and insert one of the pins into the uppermost hole to lock them in place. Lower the array and connect the front links. Fold down the splay link and make sure that the locking pin is set to zero degrees. Engage the pin with the splay link and don't forget to insert the safety pin. Release the touring cart. As a next step, set the splay angles of the remaining loudspeakers. In this case, it's 5, 6, and 7 degrees. The splay link of the lowest cabinet must be set to zero degrees in order to attach the compression frame. First, connect the compression frame at the front. Then remove the rear safety pin, engage the splay link and reinsert the pin. Connect the master link chain to the compression frame and attach the lever hoist to the o-ring. Pull the excess chain through the lever hoist. Turn the knob to engage the clutch. Set the select lever to lifting mode and compress the array.
The handle is torque sensitive. It kinks and shows a red indication when the maximum load is achieved. Now, all cabinets are angled correctly and no more compression must be applied. Set the select lever to neutral and attach the master link chain to the compression chain. This bypasses the lever hoist and acts as a secondary safety device. The chain bag attaches to the master link O-ring. Thank you, Chris and Jones.